Hello my friends and welcome back to Coffee Tea Paper. So today I have five different ideas, five different themes of some outgoing happy mail that I sent in the month of October. Uh, as far as I know, all of the mails have been received, so there shouldn't be um, any uh, spoilers in here for those who were the recipients. So this first mail is a little mini flip book and I used lots of greens and teals and floral elements because this one went to Bronia uh, and she has a journaling page on Instagram and it seems to me that she uses um, greens and floral elements in a lot of her journal spreads so uh, she very kindly sent me some of her homemade um, paper and some um, like journal prompts and some die cuts in a happy mail and so I wanted to send a little thank you to her with something that she uh, will hopefully be able to use in her spreads and uh, yeah so that little fold out thing there that's a gutter strip from postage stamps and uh, yeah so it's already got like um oh, like adhesive on the back so they're all ready to be um, separated and put onto the pages and uh, yes yeah, so th and the next one because that was a domestic mail. This next one is an international mail and this one went out to Mel uh, who is a subscriber here on the channel and she was kind enough to send me some really nice paper samples uh, to try out with my fountain pens and so I wanted to send her a little thank you as well and I know she's um, very keen on cats and so I wanted to include uh, a cat element and a lot of kind of vintagey vibes and I was just pointing out all the little elements I used there some stamps some washi tapes and things I've uh, got a little uh, paper clip at the top of that postcard so I've got some hidden things um, behind the uh, sort of retro Australian postcard and the trick with international mail is to really keep it as flat as possible. So I'm maximizing the um, floor space, if you like, of the, the envelope size and spreading everything out. So I popped in some kitty cat um, cutouts and stickers and some tea and also some stamped images as well and in order to keep everything in place so it doesn't slide around in the envelope and bulk up at one end because then it might get sent back to me <laughs> um, I'm just using some washi tape to stick down the little brown paper pouches that I made and I just did a little bit of collage on each of those um, yeah to try and time tie no, time tie in with the theme that's what I'm trying to say so yes I just used some Tim Holtz paper here and did the collage on the front with some stamping and cut out images and some type to sentiment and tickets and stamps and yeah all sorts of bits and pieces and in order to keep the bulk down on the envelope I used um, some stamps and that was actually a larger um, I got some packet it was some sort of packaging I got something in that um, anyway I cut it down to make the correct sized envelope for my flat mail okay so I'm just so the next one is a happy mail themed happy mail <laughs> and this um, I use mostly um, like cutouts and things from a Kiki K um, book 
that I have. And it's got all sorts of fun things and like letters are better and send more mail and that kind of stuff. And I just pieced together some of the um, postcards that were in that booklet and some of the other things and I put it together with some paper clips to keep it nice and flat and um, yeah so I thought that was kind of fun with the uh, the happy mail themed happy mail and this is kind of like a seed little seed packet and I popped in some die cuts and things and yes and that one went to Victoria who also watches my channel sometimes <laughs> Okay, the next one is a vintage rose themed one and I had a bit more room to move with this one because this was a domestic um, postage scenario <laughs> and it's a flip book where I tried putting together all different sort of shapes and sizes because I've been collecting a whole bunch of um, vintage rose and music type um, papers and stickers and things because uh, this one's going out to Serviana and I know that they are, um, well that's like imagery and things that she really enjoys. She, she's got a lovely Instagram feed with lots of um, a vintage journal page inspiration and tags and uh, yeah really really creative and um, beautiful to look at so I have been trying to put together some things to make uh, this themed mail for a while so um, yeah but of course none of the sizes and everything was the same so I had it was a bit like putting together a bit of a jigsaw puzzle um, to make all the shapes fit to make a successful um, flip book there so I've got a pocket behind there a little pocket on the front another little pocket on the front there and one in behind this part And uh, yeah, with the sort of vintage themes, it's um, uh, really nice to, I guess, um, flesh out what you have with using things like brown paper and doilies and because they tie in really nicely. Um, I wasn't overly worried about having this white space on the inside because I designed these two little um, pouches with some goodies in it to fit in there so um, I thought that then tied in nicely with the white doily and on the front and to go along with this mail I also made a little matchbox um, type oh well it's a matchbox type container a little, little drawer and I used um, some off cuts of book pages like the edges of the pages and did lots of stamping on those so that um, she has lots of ready to go um, images for her spreads next one's a quirky retro flip book <laughs> I was really taken with this uh, paper I only had one sheet of it but I thought it was really fun with the very sort of vintagey retro cyclists on their um, tandem bikes and I also had some of this classic-y paper with the um, reds and blues and greens on it and I thought they actually worked quite well together but uh, the trick was trying to find a way to, to tie it all together and that was by um, using a sort of elements with blues and I really sort of mixed and matched a whole lot of um, patterns and florals and geometrics and all sorts of things but um, yeah I think I think it I think it works <laughs> I don't know and uh, yes yeah, so I had um, once again I made sort of a flip book with 
all different odds and ends of sizes of paper because I was trying to create a quirky yet still somewhat coordinated um, finished product. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I did some hydrangea die cuts that I watercolored and finished off with some white gel pen in there and there's some tea and some vintage type papers and uh, yeah and this one went out to Lizzie and I know that she's um, received this one and that pocket in the back there that is for my letter and uh, Lizzie likes uh, those um, uh, like paper doll girl stickers and as so I made sure I included some of those and some lovely flower stickers as well so I tried to coordinate it all using the colors of blue and red and yellow and give it a bit of a, a quirky retro vibe so I think I think it works <laughs> And then I also did the same for her with a little matchbox filled with some uh, stamped book margin um, uh, as, as well. So they're ready to incorporate in her happy mails and journal pages, etc. Okay, what else did I send out in October? Okay, yeah, some various other bits and pieces. Uh, another kind of fun, fruity type um, happy mail, happy mail, and a variety of um, just hellos and postcards and thank yous and things like that. Anyway, maybe this gave you some ideas. I hope so. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.